And speaking of Christmas, just a few days away and tomorrow on Super Saturday or Panic Saturday, shoppers in our area and across the country have fewer places to get those last minute gifts. New data shows more than 9,000 stores closed nationwide just this year. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough went to one Tuscaloosa Mall today to see what's being done to fill all that empty space. It's sort of like heartbreaking, you know what I'm saying, to see it go down to nothing like this. Wanda Powell remembers McFarland Mall way before it looked like this. I remember being out here with my parents and stuff. I remember Santa Claus sitting on this knee out there sitting on the court, you know, and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know, it's good memories up in there, you know what I'm saying? The longtime shopping mall sits mostly empty now with the exception of one store. Powell would like to see something done here if the city is able to work out a deal to buy the property. Like a game room or a paintball gallery or, you know, a go-kart range, you know, something like that, something for the kids to do, you know what I'm saying? See, that's part of the problem with the kids these days is that they, they don't have anything to do. So while city leaders wouldn't rule out having more shopping here at the old McFarland Mall, other options on the table are a convention center and a sports complex. It's definitely the most prime piece of property, commercial real estate property in Alabama. There's no question that it's right in the heart of the state and it's right at the uh, exit to the, the great University of Alabama. Councilman Tyner says there's no timeline for when city leaders could hammer out an agreement to buy the land, but he hopes it's soon. Powell is also hopeful there are better days ahead here. I'm like, damn, what, that, what, what is that over there? I'm not going up in there, you know, whatever like that. 2019 marks 50 years since McFarland Mall first opened. In Tuscaloosa, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. Estimates show about 15% of retail sales right now are online, and that's expected to rise to 25% by the year 2026. Former evangelist.